why would you want to be so close to a coworker? That said, uh, there's no question that open environments in an office we have found to be immensely valuable to our own bit company. I don't have an office. I'm on an open floor. And I think that it's really just a matter of, of, of maintaining distance and deploying systems. Uh, we utilized Atmos Air in our office. Uh, you know, er, we're early adopter in that office, which is three years old. We have uh, rolled that out throughout a number of buildings in our portfolio. Uh, there are other products, you know, the same things which create healthiness for a workspace in general work against a virus like COVID-19, right? So I, I just think that it's, it's, it's all a part of evolution, getting to logical places and uh, some, you know, and, and course correction. Beth, do you feel uh, that this is shared amongst the industry? I know you work with Tony, but um, are other clients doing the same thing, taking the same approach? I think that, um, it again, we work with a lot of different types of customers. So um, the healthcare community is going to be different from the office community. But actually, I want to I want to sort of tag on to what Tony was saying about Atmosphere, for example, not to plug their product, although I happen to have one in my house because I think it's kind of a, a good way to purify the air. Atmosphere provides a better quality environment, better air quality. But because of it, you can also reduce the amount of outdoor air that you bring into a building. And if you reduce the amount of outdoor air, you don't have to temper it. You don't have to cool it or heat it. So therefore, you can downsize your mechanical equipment, which means that you'll have a smaller spend on the materials that you're buying at the beginning. And then the energy to run that over time is less. So if you look at how, again, these various equipments and technologies work together, you can come up with much more elegant solutions. And again, I, you know, I know that I'm repeating myself here, but I think that it's it really bears repeating that you need to take a much more holistic view of what you're doing from a design standpoint, making sure that you take into consideration environmental considerations, energy considerations, health considerations, and how you can most eloquently, elegantly knit technologies together to solve solutions or to create solutions to solve problems. 